Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, I have my Vintage Chic Sense Halloween pre-order. I was so excited when Kirby from Vintage Chic Sense launched her pre-order, the Craven and Carpenter pre-order. Now, a little background on Vintage Chic Sense and my girl Kirby. Vintage Chic Sense was started by Kirby's love for home fragrance. Years ago, when I was making videos originally, Kirby was also making videos on different vendors and vendor wax, and her knowledge for the product was insane. Impeccable. There was no words. Kirby is a beautiful soul who loved everything vintage. And when she announced the launch of her company years ago, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be huge. Now, one thing about VCS, Vintage Chic Scents, her stuff lasts forever and ages like a fine wine. This scent shot right here, two, three, four years from now, I could pop this in my warmer and the throw will be insane and last and last and last. Her wax formula is unlike any others because it simply holds that fragrance forever. I recommend curing her stuff. She says two weeks. I cure everything for a month just because I have so much wax and I want to get the best throw possible. So I typically give everything from her about a month cure time from any vendor. Now, another thing, everything is inspired by all things vintage. And Kirby's favorite holiday is Halloween. So, she always goes big during Halloween, and this was no exception. Now, I feel so bad for Kirby because she ran out of wax, and she's an honest vendor. She posted in the Facebook group, guys, it's COVID. I ran out of wax, but don't worry, I'll get this, and she did. Her husband drove to get the wax, loaded it up in her car, and she was able to finish this pre-order. I can't imagine the stress that Kirby was going through trying to get this pre-order out to everyone and still have that same amazing quality that you know and love from Vintage Chic Scents. So, there are some favorite scents in here I got in Lowe's, and I got some of her leaf two-packs because her leaf shapes are simply one of my favorites, the leaves, which I'll show you right here, her leaf shapes, as well as her poinsettias, my favorite shapes from VCS. Well, there's another shape that I'm super excited about. I don't have here, but I hope to have in the future. Now, without further ado, let's get into this haul because it's pretty spooky. As always, Kirby always sends one free sample with every order, and mine was in Silver Shamrock, which says Candy Corn and Cinnamon Broom. So cinnamon brooms are like those cinnamon, those brooms that are coated in cinnamon that you can leave out for decoration, and oh my god, it's right here, and I, I can already smell it. Candy Corn and Cinnamon Broom. I mean, Candy Corn's like a really like creamy blender fragrance. To me, this just smells like a cinnamon broom, like a straight up spicy cinnamon scent. It's delish though, like it's really good. I'm glad I have a scent on it. It's something that would be nice, like I'm really craving something cinnamony, but I don't want it in a full size. This is like the perfect size, I think, for a scent like this. It's definitely not a favorite, but that's what samples are for, for you to try out new scents. It's a little spicy on cinnamon, but if you like that pure cinnamon, you'll love it. Now, in the leaf shapes, this scent, you guys, she only had in leaves. She didn't have it in loaves, but it's a favorite. Sabrina Spellman. And this is Palo Santo Vanilla Lace and Cashmere Fig. Now, I'm going to pull out one leaf just to show you the beautiful detail on these leaves. They're amazing. Now, what I would do is I would split these leaves down the middle and pop them in all of my warmers, about half of a leaf in each warmer. I've talked about this scent before, I think, on YouTube. Sabrina Spellman is one of my favorites. It has Palo Santo. It has cashmere fig. I love fig. I love sweetness of fig and the woodiness of the Palo Santo. 
and the vanilla lace. That's that Victoria's Secret perfume dupe. I mean, it smells like the best. Oh, like if I hugged Sabrina Spellman and this is what she smelled like, I'd be like, it makes total sense. She smells sweet, a little smoky and mysterious, but she does have some perfume on, which is the vanilla lace. Oh, it's my favorite and I, well, it's not my favorite. You'll see my favorite in here, but this is just incredible. So that was Sabrina Spellman. Next we have Hello Sydney. Watch Sydney prove she's a fighter while melting the cinnamon sugared donut scent. Simple, to the point, cinnamon sugared donut. And that's what it smells like, cinnamon sugar donut. Like a pure, fresh baked cake donut dusted with cinnamon and sugar served in a brown paper bag at a fair. Mmm, amazing. And you can never go wrong with cinnamon sugar donut. That's like the type of scent where I don't know what to melt, but I know I want something bakery and something delicious. Tatum. And Tatum says vanilla bourbon drizzled with vanilla pumpkin marshmallows. Now, I love my boozy scents, so vanilla bourbon sounded right up my alley. That's nice. You really smell the bourbon. So if you're not a boozy type of scent person, you're not going to like this. But I definitely smell the bourbon. There's a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla. And vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, again, a super sweet fall scent. No spice. So if you're not a spicy fall person, I know there's a lot of you guys out there who just do not like cinnamon spice. Catherine King, I'm talking to you. I know you don't like spice. Mmm. That's a good one. And the vanilla bourbon adds like a level of sophistication. Next we have Fall Fun Fest. Now, this is right up my alley. Pumpkin pecan waffles, yellow cake, and zucchini bread. <sighs> Amazing. Kirby has hands down the best zucchini bread I've ever smelled. It's creamy zucchini bread. It's not spicy. I can't stand when I smell a zucchini bread from a vendor and it's like like cinnamon broom. Like I'm like, what? I've never had zucchini bread that literally is so spicy I want to sneeze. I, zucchini bread is creamy. It's rich. It's decadent. It's delicious. Paired with yellow cake and pumpkin pecan waffles. I mean, can you really get any better than that? I mean, you have gooey, gooey, sweet pumpkin pecan waffles, moist, buttery yellow cake, and decadent zucchini bread. Oh, this is a comfort scent. This is one of my Sunday morning in bed type of scents. So many leaves. This one is Craven, and this is warm spices, sugared apples, and vanilla ice cream. So I'm immediately picturing this um, incredible Sunday. Yep. Okay. You go to a nice restaurant. It's in the fall and they have like a printed menu special for that Saturday or that Sunday. And at the bottom, there's a dessert and it's called The Craven. It says rich vanilla ice cream with fresh nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom topped with warm apples. Boom. Right there. Did you close your eyes? Did you picture that Sunday? Do you want to eat it? Do you want to gain five pounds after that beautiful Sunday gets delivered right to your table, warm and sizzling on a hot plate? The ice cream is melting. The spices are mixing in with those warm apples that you literally take your fork and the apple just dissolves almost because it's so soft and baked. You just had the craving. And I mean, come on. I mean, if that's not comfort food, I don't know what is. Gale Weathers, Campfire Soft Sandalwood, Toasted Marshmallow, and Smoky Vanilla. So, we have our rich and gooey, we have smoky and sophisticated. Oh yeah, okay. To me, this smells like if you got a, like a, uh, a fall vanilla perfume. So, think about like, and I think that's from the sandalwood and the smoky vanilla, those to me sound more like, like a perfume, like a fine fragrance note. And then you have your toasted marshmallow and your campfire. No, this is not a perfume scent, but 
mixed with those smoky woody scents and you have the light perfumey elements of the sandalwood. Mmm. Wow, that's good. That's really good. This, I think, could be a really good mixer, too. Maybe mix in some, I don't know, Palo Santo. Then we have Loomis. Loomis, pumpkin, coconut, clove, on a base of dark bourbon, maple, and toasted oak. Interesting. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, so toasted oak, it kind of, okay, I don't want this to come across, like, I, I, I love these, yes, I don't love everything. There's probably some stuff Kirby pours that she just does not like, but they're fan favorites. Pumpkin coconut clove, okay, so, like, you have that, you know, like, spicy scent. Maybe it's the dark bourbon and oak. Ooh, it's, like, stale. It kind of, like, the oak wood is definitely prominent in there. And I guess I'm more used to, like, sweet woody scents, where this is definitely more of a spicy wood, if that makes any sense. It's, I, I don't like that. <laughs> Woodsboro. Enjoy this coat. Side note, doesn't mean I won't melt it. I'm definitely going to let it cure and try it. If I don't like it... I dump out the wax and I put something else in and know not to order it again. Woodsboro. Enjoy this cozy blend of pumpkin bonfire, glazed cinnamon donuts, and gooey marshmallows. But you better look behind you. Ghostface loves it too. Pumpkin bonfire is a Bath and Body Works scent that's just heavenly. It's smoky, smoky with just a hint of pumpkin, but it's not spicy. Kirby adds cinnamon donuts and marshmallow, so you get bakery on top of that pumpkin bonfire. And yes, you do. Oh my gosh, okay. You immediately get cinnamon donuts. That's like, in the forefront, you get baked cinnamon donuts. If you're a bakery lover, you'll like this. Gooey marshmallow, again, just adds some sweetness so it doesn't overpower the cinnamon. And then pumpkin bonfire in the back end, very light. Uh, definitely, it's not heavy. She's not heavy handed with that pumpkin bonfire oil. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Wow, is that good. Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> Haddonfield. Is it Hay Haddonfield? Haddonfield? Toasted marshmallow cake drizzled with blood red strawberries. Now this, I'm curious about. Marshmallow cake and strawberries. Wow. Okay. I'll be honest, like, I love strawberry, so I knew I was going to love this. I do. However, it's just like a super sweet, sugary strawberry. I'm not getting much cake or marshmallow. It's coming across as just like a super sweet sugary coating on a strawberry. Almost like, it, this just smells like um, when you take strawberries out of the fridge and you sprinkle sugar on them, shake up the container, and then like the whole thing's coated in sh sugar and you take a bite. It's like what your fingers are left with, like that sugary, sweet strawberry juice. It's good though. Definitely not like a fall set. I mean... I like it, though. Don't get me wrong. I love strawberry. I knew I was going to like it. I just don't get that toastiness of the marshmallow. But again, things like that come out on cold. Or come out on warm. Should we talk about the boo bags next? I think so. One thing that's really cool about Kirby is she offers these different bags during the seasons. So these are her boo bags. So that say it's you get your scent. And you get a bunch of different Halloween-shaped scents. Halloween shapes in the scent. I don't know where that came from. And they are in a bag. So this one is Jackie O's Perfect Pumpkin Pie. If you're not familiar with Jackie O, Jackie O is a scent that she uses for a lot of scents, which is vanilla bean cake with whipped marshmallow. So... It's like a super sweet vanilla. And she added it with pumpkin. Oh, is that yummy. Now, let me try to pull out 
So we have, I don't want to pull out all the shapes. We have a little pumpkin. We have a little headstone. Oh, my Lord. <gasps> we have a little angry jack-o'-lantern. That's like my favorite shape for Halloween. Another pumpkin. A little ghost. And see, these are perfect because you can just pop them all around in your warmers. Another little pumpkin. A happy pumpkin. So much wax, you guys, I love. <gasps> a little skeleton. Well, this is a bit... Oh, She's a mama. This is a big old ghost. Look at the size of that ghost. That's easily like three melts. And then, what's this? Oh, a haunted house. Oh, okay. I'm going to slowly put these in the bag as I talk about the scent. It smells like a very just creamy, rich pumpkin pie. If it's if you're not into super spicy scents, this is definitely a scent in there, that you would really appreciate because it's pumpkin. You definitely pick up on pumpkin, but the spice is definitely not there. It's definitely a much more rich vanilla pumpkin pie. Like a pumpkin pie with a ton of extra marshmallow. I mean, who doesn't love that? Room 237, which is pumpkin spice, chestnuts, and brown sugar, and harvest spices. Open her up. I love her chestnuts and brown sugar oil. Boo. Oh my god, these are so cute. A little happy ghost. He's layered. Now this, it's a little bit spicier. We have pumpkin spice as a note. So you're going to get like nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger... But then you get your chestnuts and brown sugar, which I love that oil because brown sugar is like a super sweet sugar paired with chestnuts and harvest spices. So harvest spices, again, it's like walking into a craft store, but there's some sweetness, which I really appreciate. Wait, I'm trying to pull out this pumpkin that is just so cute. Look how cute this little 3D pumpkin is. I mean, how cute would this be? Like, taking a little video of it melting in your warmer. Oh, love. Love, 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 love. And then the last one in the boo bags I actually got from one of my friends, Caitlin, is Sugar Cookie Dough Great Pumpkin. She's like, Drew, please pick this up for me because it sounds amazing. Mm. And then look. We got a little ghosty. A little ghosty. Pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting and sugar cookie dough. It's super sweet pumpkin, but it's pumpkin cake. So you get the yellow, rich, gooey cake. You get the cream cheese. And you get a little bit of that sugary, sugary cookie dough. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she's going to love melting that. Caitlin, you might have to give me a little piece. I share the love with everybody, so I love. <gasps> Should we talk about the six loaves that I got? Because they're all my favorite scents. Let's do it. We're going to save my absolute favorite scent in the whole entire world from Kirby for last. So let's first start with... This is my... How do I say? Okay. I've talked about it in my last Vintage Cheek Scents haul. Jenna's Sugar Butter Flower Pie. Waitress is my favorite show. I have a waitress tattoo. Waitress just opened up on Broadway on Thursday. I'm going in two weeks to see Sarah Bareilles in New York City, opening that curtain, singing Sugar Butter Flower. And that show, if you've seen it, you know how impactful it is. It holds a lot of meaning and a lot of heart to me. So when I saw she poured Jenna's sugar butter flour pie, I was so excited. And it's caramelized praline pie. Sweet, sugary. You go into the mall or you go to a festival and they have the caramelized nuts stand. They're caramelizing pecans. And you take them home and you pour them into a buttery pie crust loaded with sugar, loaded with gooiness. It's that 
just comforting scent. And if you know Jenna's story and you know that sometimes she needs that comfort. And this is that comforting, gooey, rich scent. Oh, I love Waitress so much. I, I can't even wait. That got me so excited. Sanderson Sisters. Green Apple Caramel and Candy Corn Marshmallow. Super Green Apple. I haven't smelled this in a long time, like a few years, and I knew I loved Sanderson Sisters. So, oh yeah, it's like super green apple, but it's toned down with the candy corn and the marshmallow that just makes it ooey gooey and rich. Mmm, so good. Like, these, these scents just make me so happy. There's nobody that can blend like Kirby. And I will hold a candle to that. Nobody holds a candle to her. That's what I'll say. And I mean it forever. Nobody blends like Kirby. Autumn in Salem. Pumpkin donuts dusted with cinnamon and sugar. See, now where cinnamon sugar donut is more heavy on the donut, this is definitely more heavy on the cinnamon and the sugar, where the pumpkin donut, you know whenever like you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you get a pumpkin donut, it's like that cakey donut and every time you bite it, you get that spice that just warms your insides. This is a Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin donut in a bag, in a loaf, where you can get so many melts out of. And that makes me so happy. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a VCS loaf in my stash. Order of the Warrens. I love the Warrens so much. The Warrens is a cult favorite from Kirby, and it's one for me, too. And Order of the Warrens is just a little bit more added. So we have glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mulled cider topped with gooey marshmallow. The Order of the Warrens is caramel drizzle, sweet cinnamon, and campfire. So... It's like Kirby's own homemade version of Cider Lane with a little bit of smoky campfire. So, it's like you're drinking amazing big cup of hot apple cider with lots of caramel. You know, that extra double, triple, quadruple scoop of caramel over the campfire. Because that spiciness is in the end. Mmm. It's, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Last, but not least. I was actually a little shocked when I saw they were red in the box because they're typically always gray. Two loaves of my favorite scent. The scent I never ever would have thought would be my literal like ride or die if I could only pick one scent from any vendor in the entire world. I'm going to play a Lori Brown. Pause the video and tell me what you think it is down below. Do you have your guesses? Do you have your guesses? All right. One, two, three. Sweeney's Barbershop. Sweeney's Barbershop, inspired by the movie Sweeney Todd. Fresh strawberries blended with minty shaving cream. Strawberries are one of my favorite scents and minty shaving cream. Inspired by like the blood when he slits their throats. Oh my god. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, this scent is just literally heaven on earth. I, I can't even describe it as anything else. It's fresh. It's fruity. It's creamy. It's delicious. I could melt this scent every single day for the rest of my life and never get tired of it. It's so good. She does interpretations of it, like she has Johanna, which is rosemary mint shaving cream, but there's nothing like Sweeney's, nothing like that fresh picked strawberry that's not chapsticky, that's a real fresh picked strawberry blended with that minty, creamy shaving cream. Oh. If you have never smelled Sweeney's Barbershop, I dare you to try it, and I dare you to not like it. I never, ever, ever, ever want to be without Sweeney's Barbershop. Ever. Like, if I'm low, I, I get scared. And I have, like, 
four of those um, rose packs left that are nice and cured, and I'm like, nope, I need some more. And she offered it in the pre-order. I would have ordered more, but I'm like, let me stop myself at two because she'll offer it again. That's something that whatever the wax ban, whatever anything, if there's Sweeney's Barbershop offered in a restock, I have to place an order or a pre-order because I just have to. <laughs> it's my favorite scent. All right, guys, that was a long video of one of my favorite vendors. And yes, I promise I'll do a My Favorite Vendors video. I'm just really figuring out my top five vendors. I, I kind of know who they are. There's one spot that it's in between two, but I think after this week, I kind of figured it out because I've been melting a lot. So let me know if you ordered from the Vintage Cheek Sense pre-order. What have you tried? What do you love? What are some of your cult favorite VCS scents? Shout out to everybody in the VCS Facebook group. I love you guys so much. And if you've tried Sweeney's Barbershop, do you just love it as much as I do? If you don't, tell me why you're wrong. And I'd love to talk. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So every time I upload in this screen, you get notified. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!